Chinese delegation comes out, we pick up the pace. This guy with the yellow armband always recognizes you, so just keep your head down and stay to my right. Nicely done. Asked not to be disturbed. This had better be critical. Fate of mankind? Critical enough? I don't believe what I'm seeing. I've had more than my share of that. Sit down, General. Stay away from the desk. I'd take her very seriously if I were you. I have to hand it to you, Major. When you left this office today, I never imagined you'd be back, let alone with my most decorated soldier. I'm going to tell you a story, General, and first it's going to sound ridiculous, but the longer I talk, the more rational it's going to appear. Tell him you call back. Tell who? Major General Beaumont calling from Halifax. His plane's just been delayed. Bad weather. Yes. Thank you, Beaumont. I'll call you back. Tomorrow's invasion is a slaughter. I'm dead within five minutes of landing on that beach, along with every other soldier you are sending. And that's because the enemy knows we're coming. How do I know this? Before I died, I killed a mimic, only this one was different. It passed something on to me in my blood. Now I live the same day over and over again, just like they do. Just like Sergeant Protaski at Verdun. Tell your secretary everything's fine. Beg your pardon? Um, I'm sorry, General. I thought you were alone. It's fine. She typed up those orders for you to authorize, but she left out the ones referring to the fuel dump at Greenwich. Your name is Iris. Your birthday is September 17th. The general quietly pulled some strings, stationed your only son in Australia as far from the war as possible. Tell the general his dinner's just been canceled. The call came in just now. The dinner was canceled. You forgot the fuel dump. Thank you, Iris. That'll be all. Cage. Rita, let me what just, do do? please, don't shoot him again. Okay? Just, just, you know. General, th this isn't the first time we've had this conversation. That's, that's because you're, you're stubborn. You won't believe me when I tell you that Dr. Carter was right, that the enemy can manipulate time. The invasion will fail, no matter how many bodies you throw at it. The only way to win this war is by finding this power source of the Mimic Horde and killing it. And the only means of finding it is in that safe right there. No matter how many times we have this conversation, you refuse to accept that the enemy breaks through to London tomorrow, and we lose, we lose everything. Let's say for one moment, but I can't rationally explain your impressive parlor tricks. Dr. Carter told me this device requires a live mimic to work. What use is it to you? That's my concern. On the contrary. According to you, this concerns the whole world. Well, what would you do if you believed everything I just told you? I would locate this. Omega. And bomb it out of existence. You're not mentally equipped to fight this thing. And you never will be. What do we do now? I don't know. We've ever gotten this far. 